Good morning, guys. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Can you do both of that? Mm-hmm. Good morning, guys. Can you hear me? Can you Hi, hello. Okay, guys. Okay, uh, I hope you can hear me. And sorry, I will be a little low because my throat is not working so well. And I hope you understand that. Okay. So today we are going to start with another session. And welcome to the session, guys. Hi, Khalif. Hi, Harshahal. Hello. Akansha, hi study adda, hello guys. So I am Bhavna Bisht. <coughs> so let's see what an academy has to offer us, right? So if you join an academy plus and if you're planning to, I suggest do it fast right now. Okay, and the subscription plan goes for around 1000 rupees for 24 months because you have to be in your 10th as well as 11th, 12th. Oh my god, you can even go for four years, guys. Yes, and that is the cheapest and the most amazing quality education you are going to receive. And you can use my code if you like me. That is BBLive10 and you will get an amazing 10% discount. That is right. But ma'am, why should I join her? Huh? What will be the benefits? So the benefits of joining an Academy Plus would be life classes for all subjects daily followed by weekly quizzes doubt solving life classes practice sessions and test series everything at your fingertips babies that is right but we heard there's iconic subscription also and you heard it very correct we have iconic subscription which will give you a personal mentor that's right any moment of confusion and that mentor will be there to help you you have live doubt sessions Parent Connect G, huh? Followed by a study planner because obviously we all need some study planners, right? Hi, Harsh. Yes. So these are some of the ongoing and the upcoming batches. Yes. And all classes will be conducted in both the sessions. Uh, that is in Hindi and English. So if you don't understand English, Hindi me ja sessions attend ki jiye. And if you do not understand uh, Hindi, so you go and attend your sessions in English. Okay? So see this cute little video and then we'll begin. Hi, Harsh. The iconic subscription fees. So uh, after this video is over, I'll let you know. Okay? This is the end that slide. Uh, yes, Akansha, you are correct. There will be a mentee. Okay, so for an academy iconic subscription, uh, Harsh Chahal. Uh, 18 months it will be 35,000 that is 1,944 per month and if you're already a plus student you can just contact an academy and they will tell you all the plans on how to upgrade your settings okay so you can go and try that out hi Barbie doll a very good morning Barbie Chalo. So let's put our thinking caps on and let's crack it. But before we do that, we take a deep breath, doesn't we? Let's do it. Whew. And let's begin. Guys, we have a many quiz today with the code 4793344. Okay? So you can go and go to menti.com. Go to menti.com. Put in the code 4793344. And you will be welcome to the quiz. Okay? Yes? Let's begin with the session, guys. 
So today we are going to talk about stubble burning. Okay. Now first, before knowing what stubble burning is, we need to know what stubble is, right? And what ayah kidar se, and what exactly is stubble? Okay. So let's do it. So what happens is uh, this around uh, June, July, August, September, October. Yeah. So this is where we have paddy crops in the states in the northern India of Punjab, Haryana, right? And these are harvested between the first and last week of October. When I say harvested, in the sense what they are ripe, they are ready to be taken out. So they are cut from the field and we put it in our houses, right? So that happens in the first and the last week of October. Okay, ma'am. Take care. Then whatever the crop residue is remaining on the field is called as stubble it is called as stubble what do you mean by that you might have seen in movies ki masa sa koi ka leke masa se ped ko kaatte yeah ped in the sense your farm ko jo bhi produce hai usko kaatte right yes but what happens is nowadays mostly this cutting process has gone to mechanized agriculture where we use machines for it right to haath se kaatte waqt hum kafi jad se kaatte the so there used to be very little left okay so for example if i have a plant over here if i have a paddy over here if so i'm cutting it with a hand sickle so i'll cut it from here right but the machines they cut it from here so this much amount of plant is still remaining so what do i do with that yeah and that is my stubble guys so stubble is basically the pa uh, the paddy crop residue whatever is remaining stubble crop is the act of now itna bach gaya na now i have to remove it because i have to plant wheat now right so what do i do with it and we have a gap of only 10 to 15 days usme hum kya kya karenge right can i go and remove it with my hands so farmers would they do just burn whatever is remaining on the field yes why because they have to sow wheat now so it is a traditional practice in the states of punjab haryana and western up the stubble burning begins around october and peaks in november so as we know the harvest first or last week of october mein nikal diya jata hai yes to niche ka jo bhi residue hoga when will it be there it will be there in the october november region only and november mein jab sab kuch kat gaya hai so what will be remaining just the residues and which needs to be burned and as a result the stubble burning will be on peak in the month of november okay Hi study. Hi Priyanshu. Hi. Hi Saif. Hi Bacha. I am from Haryana. Hi. So we have a Mendy quiz with the code four seven nine three three four four. Okay. You can go and join us on Mendy dot com. So, like I know there will be people like, ma'am, why? and how how does this happen how does we have a big residue with, with us so what happens is ki when you're going through machines okay they are not able to cut it term deep they cut it superficially and that is why i have some residues with me but why why do the farm farmers go out there and cut it with a sickle because it takes a lot of time and there is shortage of labor yes and just burning it is more economical you don't have to give give money to the laborers right ki aao hamara kaat ke jao ji nahi it is just 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 burn it yes so when paddy is harvested combined with harvest and thresher the machine leaves a significant length of the straw behind and this is called as stubble and this prevents other machines from sowing wheat seeds because they will be coming in the middle whenever the machine is trying to sow the wheat but between the harvest yeah and to sow the new wheat plants i have just 10 to 15 days yeah and i have large fields so what do i do i just burn it off because it is a very quick elimination of the paddy So, uh, 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 okay, yes. So we have a Mandy quiz with the code four seven nine three four four. Okay. Uh. So what are the harmful effects, ma'am? ठीक है ना क्या ही कर रहे हैं? Agriculture का जो भी waste बचा है उसको हम क्या कर रहे हैं? Burn कर रहे हैं. So what is harmful about it? 
so when we talk about burning yes burning is obviously going to release some harmful pollutants like carbon dioxide carbon monoxide oxides of sulfur and tons of particles matter right because you are burning and you must see the chote 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 black 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 particles nikalte yes so these directly contribute to environmental pollution now how many of you in the news are uh, reading and learning about the smog situation that is happening and surrounding the areas of delhi yes so more, they believe ki most of the pollution that is there is due to the subtle, uh, subtle farming that is happening in the states of punjab haryana yes so this leads to more pollution and it also is leading to melting in the himalayan region okay yes air pollution that is right the heating of burning pile okay now what you are doing is all those all those kari 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 straws which are there on the field yes what are you doing you are just burning it off so when you are burning and it is there on the soil right so obviously you are going to increase the temperature of the soil so the soil temperature is 33.8 but when we put fire to it it goes to 42.2 degree celsius that is right so when you increasing the temperature by almost 10% there are many useful bacteria that live in the soil that are helping you to have a fertile land with amazing crops right so this 10 degree increase in the temperature might have you killing those bacteria yes and in turn you might not have a fertile ground understood the next is we are burning the topmost layer of this thing ma'am so what are we doing another part there is so much of smoke there is so much of heat there are some pest also for example let's say our earthworms right yes who prevent us from the wrath of another pest and by putting fire over it we are just increasing the temperature we are increasing the smoke over there as you can see in the picture which leads to the choo choo away of all the good pest that we have it also reduces the solubility capacity of the upper layers of soil according to a report 1 ton of stubble burning leads to loss of 5.5 kg of nitrogen 2.3 kg of phosphorus and 25 kg of potassium and more than 1 kg of sulfur now these n p k that is nitrogen phosphorus and potassium are the major minerals that are required by the plant to grow and with just burning one ton of stubble if you are losing 5.5 kg of nitrogen you are understanding how much loss we are having yes and this leads to more of what this leads to more of use of chemical fertilizer which is not good for us so again guys we have our um, mind quiz with the code 4793344 you can join us at mindy.com using the code 4793344 okay oh, so again this is a picture showing that a farmer is burning whatever is remaining can you see over here can you see this these big big dandies yeah so iske upar ek pura plan tha kiska rice ka yes so when the machine came will plan to leke gayi but itna part uska niche reh gaya itna part uske stem ka niche reh gaya which are called as straws yes now ye aisi situation mein you cannot go out you cannot put a machine out there and bolo ki jao seed ugao kiske feet ke yes that is not possible so it is necessary ki ye sab hataya jaye yes and for that they just burn the field but ma'am I know it is causing winter time pollution in the cities like Delhi, NCR, and our surrounding areas of Delhi. But why is it happening? Why, when they know there is so much of pollution that is being caused around it, because they know that the temperature of the soil is increasing, they are losing good bacteria and good pest. Why is it still happening? First of all, burning is easier. Yes, it is cost and time efficient. You don't have to pay any labor. You don't have to pay to any machine owner. कि ये लो भाई हमारा ये पूरी field साफ करके दे दो. No, you just put ag, you just put fire, and everything will go away. 
yes so the alternatives which are there divine demand more time investment and labor which most of the small time farmers cannot afford yes and even if they can afford they do not wish to go for it because it will require money yeah which it will take more time which they do not have because they have to sow wheat yes so we have a menti quiz four seven nine double three double four So the incentive to the farmers for not burning residue. In this sense, what, ma'am? Matla, we can give some incentives to the farmer who are not burning their stubble. Why? Because it is not good. And if you make hard, so this will help the farmers and give the farmers the financial backing that they need. Okay. Buying crop residues from the farmer and converting them into animal feed, manure and cardboard, etc. What do you mean by that, ma'am? Just collect all the straw, right? It is all natural. It is not any chemical which we have, right? It is just a crop ka chota sa niche ka part. So what do I do? I can give them to animals. Animals can eat it, right? I can just cut it out nicely. I can give it to the animals. Or I can decompose it and make it a manure or give it to some factories who can make paper out of it. Yes, why to burn it and cause pollution, decrease the soil fertility when I can easily, 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 easily do all of these with it. Yes. So we have a mini quiz with the code four seven nine three three double four. So what can be the solution, ma'am? These are the problems, so much of pollution, not good for us, not good for the field. So what do we do? Uh -huh. What do we do? So there are agricultural machines like Happy Seeder. Yes. So it is used for sowing of the crop in standing stubble. Yes. The stubble will be there, but still we can sow seeds. Then we have a rotavator used for land preparation and incorporation of top supper in the soil. In the sense, it will just remove and put it back in the soil so it can decompose naturally. Yes. Then we have zero ton seed drill used for land preparations, directly sowing of seeds in the previous crop stubble. Okay. So it will just drill a hole, put the seed and stubble over and all the farmers can live happily. Yes. Uh, another solution, another solution is something called as a baler. So can you see all of these uh, circle, 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 cylindrical, cylindrical, cylindrical structures? Yes, these are called as bales. So there is a machine, which is Aigi and Mars, they will just collect all of it and convert it into big heaps of these circle bales, right? Another is paddy straw, chopper and cutting of paddy stubble for easily mixing with the soil. So how we have choppers in our houses? Similarly, a charcoal machine will sub stubble and then it will be mixed with the soil so it can naturally decompose. Yes, because it, uh, it decomposes within 10-15 days and then they can sow the wheat. A reaper binder used for harvesting paddy stubble and making it into bundles almost like this. Uh, yes, Manoj Sevaal. So solutions to the problem of stubble burning. Now there is another solution which is more, it does not require machine, it does not require labor, it is cost effective and that is the use of something called as PUSA decomposer. That is right. It is just a capsule which you have to put in the water for 8-10 days to ferment it and then just spray it, just spray it on the field and you will see all of the straw decomposes and it forms manure which when you plow the sea or field it will be good and there's no pollution yes nothing so it has some fungi and enzymes which help in the degradation process you can see how capsules we have we just have to ferment it and it will just decompose all the straw which you can mix it will act as a manure and we are good to go that's right so this is how we make it so time to decompose it takes around 20 days for the degradation process to be completed and it is a bio decomposition no 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 harmful effects to the environment at all not to the soil not to the air nowhere hi harsh rajput gaming
ओह वाओ हर शाहल हैज अ रोटोवेटर क्या बात है ओके प्लीज डू नॉट स्पैम हर राजपूत गेमिंग प्लीज या सो व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ पूसा डीकंपोजर डीकंपोजर इंप्रूव्स द फर्टिलिटी व्हाई बिकॉज़ यू आर डीकंपोजिंग द स्ट्रॉ व्हिच इज अ मैनोवर यस एंड इट इंक्रीजेस द फर्टिलिटी ऑफ द सोइल एंड less of fertilization consumption is required in the future the the more uh, farmers use a lot of chemical fertilizer which can be reduced by using a already home grown manure yes it is efficient and effective cheaper and practical technique to stop stubble burning this has potential to reduce air pollution and also to keep your field healthy so we can have nice crops growing on it yes so we have a menti quiz guys with the code 4793344 okay so menti will start in 3 4 minutes so you can go over there and log in okay uh yes nishal because i have tonsils so that's why i'm so sorry so but how do we know if they are burning yes how can you say ki unke wajah se hi that uh, there is pollution happening in the neighboring states because we have boards we have machines which are uh, checking we have satellites which are checking ki kaun feel jala raha hai yes and all of these the air co air quality index and everything is regulated by bodies and one such body is environment pollution prevention and control authority which is also called as epca it is a supreme court mandated body uh, which comes under the section 3 of the environment protection act of 1986 so there is a body called as epca which comes under environment protection act of 1986 what does it do so it has to protect and improve the quality of environment and prevent control environmental pollution in the ncr region the body also enforces greater response action plan grap matlab kya it will take specific measures to bring down the pollution levels in the ncr region throughout the year not only during novembers not only during septembers but throughout the year okay hi the weekend hello so ma'am how can i be a part how does uh, does it only function with the ministers no the epca is made up of 14 members in which you also have professors from iit delhi and jawaharlal nehru university yes along with along with environment secretary of nct chairperson of new, new delhi municipal council transport commissioner of nct that is national capital territory of delhi so all of these important people come together professors come together they analyze what is happening and then they give out all the necessary precautions that we can take so guys we have a menti quiz with the code 4793344 Hi Harsh Rajput Gaming. Hi. So another one, another committee that we have is called as Safar. I know the name is so nice. System of Air Quality and Weather Forecasting and Research is the full form of Safar. Is a state of the art air quality and weather forecast system. It is introduced by the Ministry of Earth Sciences. It was introduced by the Ministry of Earth Sciences to measure the air quality in the metropolitan city by measuring the overall pollution level at the location specific air quality of the city. So if you are saying ki if this region has more 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 air pollution than the neighboring region who gave you the proof so that proof is given to us by safar Hello Manisha hi so it was developed oh, where did we find this machine and everything ha 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 kidhar se mila so it was developed indigenously matlab in india so whenever it is uh, it is home grown in our own country it is called as indigenous by the indian institute of tropical meteorology uh, meteorology which is there in pune which is operated by the indian meteorological department that is imd okay so we have a mind quiz with the code 4793344 and we are going to menti.com okay ma'am how to join guys you have to go to your browser google chrome mein jao mozilla firefox mein jao ya kisi mein bhi jao and you type menti.com 
वहां पे आपको एक कोड पूछेंगे यू दे विल आस्क यू अ कोड एंड यू हैव टू राइट द कोड एज फोर सेवन नाइन थ्री थ्री फोर फोर ओके यू हैव टू गो टू मिंटी डॉट कॉम Only six people have joined us, guys. We have more people on the YouTube live chat session. I request all of you to join. Thank you so much, Sari Adda. Oh, Manoj's umbrella. Oh, okay. Let's make it ten, and then let's move forward, because I am damn sure we have more students on the YouTube live chat session than we have on the mini quiz. Oh, we got it! We are ten. Let's move. So the first question is coming on the screen. Be ready. In Punjab and Haryana, the paddy crop is usually harvested between the first and the last weeks of dash. Do you remember? Do you, do you remember me? Hi, week facts. You can join us on mendy.com because we have just started. Last. Last, last, last. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh my God. Yes. Most of you have given me the right answer. And let's see the leaderboard. So we have, we have, we have. Who do we have? Who do we have? Oh, we have our Kansha Poshdas Priyanshu, your fan. Oh my God, Priyanshu, thank you so much. So Sebastian E T, Kalif Khalid, Harsh Manisha Maria, Amit and Avantika Sevar. Hello, chiller party. Let's move on to next question. Uh, that is right week facts. So stubble farming begins around October and peaks in the month of Dash. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Da, na, 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 na. I know you can answer it fast because already most of you have given me the answer. And yes! And oh my god, 10 of you are right. Okay, let's see. We have. Akansha, Bojdas class four, Priyanshu, Dipanshu, Barbie, Khalaf, Manisha, Amit, Avantika, and COVID-19. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So yeah, Avantika, same one who gave us the right and the fastest answer. Congratulations, buddy. Let's move on to the next question. My voice is cracking. Guys, you can join the Menti quiz by using the code. Four seven nine three three four four. These farmers regularly complain about the menace of rice straw, a product of dash agriculture, normal, mechanized, natural, or organic. What do you think? Oi hoi, oi hoi, oi hoi. Yes, most of you are absolutely correct. That is a mechanized agriculture. And let's see. Oh, the Panjil gave us the wrong answer. Okay, so we have a Kancha, Bhoj Das, Class 4, Kalaf Khalid, uh, Barbie, Priyanshu, Manisha, Amit, the Panshu, COVID-19, and Harsh Chahal. Hi. And the fastest answer is given to us by the one and only a Kancha. Congratulations, buddy. The next question is on the screen. What should the 
this picture. And guys, do not forget this is a YouTube live, ses uh, live session. Go and give a big fat like. And share with your friends. Oi, 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 oi. So, first, only five of you gave me the right answer. And this is going to be a game changer. Let's see. OMG. And we have Akansha, Bosh Das Class 4, Kalaf Khalid, Borbi, Priyanshu, Hi Priyanshu, Manisha, Harshahal, Amit, Dipanshu, and COVID-19 gave me the fastest and the absolute right answer. Very nice. Next question. The second last question for today. Next question is on the screen, guys. Decompose a mixture in walls, making a liquid formulation using decomposer capsules and fermenting over how many days? Do you remember? 7 to 8, 3 to 4, 5 to 6, or 8 to 10. Okay, this was full to Kawazi, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Because six of you gave me the right answer. Let's see the leaderboard. Aha, so we have Akansha, Bhojdas, Barbie, Kalaf, Kalat, Priyanshu, Amit, Manisha, Harshahal, Dipanshu, and Avandika Singh. What? And the fastest answer is given to us by Priyanshu. Congratulations, buddy. The last question for today. The last question for today, guys. On the screen, IMD stands for what just give the right answer and secure as many points as you can oh we have 10 of you who have given us the absolute right answers let's see guys if my voice is cracking or oh, can you refresh i don't know what the problem is I hope next time it won't be there. Okay, so we have our winner for today, and that is Akansha. Congratulations, Akansha, for by Poj Das, Barbie, Khalid, Priyanshu, Amit, Harsh, COVID 19, Avantika Sevaal, and Manisha Moria are our top 10 for today. And the fastest answer to this question was given by COVID 19. COVID 19 is fastest. Congratulations, buddy, and congratulations, Akansha. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. along with another amazing topic on black holes. That is right. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tap the kill you. Bye-bye. Take care. And um, like, do not forget to give a big fat like to the video and share it with your friends. Yes, ma'am. Now it's clear. Now we, are, uh, now we are ending the session and now you say it is clear. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Akansha, and everybody, thank you so much for joining in, and um, that is it. Thank you for being there. Bye. Thank you, guys, and congratulations.